Hey guys, it's Nina. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I posted. Past couple weeks have been just really weird and eye-opening just in terms of how long it's been since the pandemic has been going on and since I've been working from home. It's been six months. And this is my space, this is my sanctuary. You know, I have all my plants and all the things I love in here. And it's like the work, stress is also in this space now. So it's just annoying. I promise you guys, I have wanted to put something out and it's just been hard for me to get motivated. So please give this a thumbs up if you're happy to see a video from me, yay. <laughs> so yeah, in this video, I wanna talk about my length goals because I feel like I have just been stuck in this like bra strap, underarm length like purgatory. I've been pretty much at this length almost since March of last year, like when I hit my five year um, lockiversary. And of course I got here because of the color damage. And I've even thought about maybe just like cutting like all of the colored part, which would be a lot of my hair, it pretty much would be half of my hair that I would have to cut in order to get rid of all of the color. So that way I can just be done with that part of my life. Because what I've realized is that, you know, the way color affects hair and especially my hair, all of this hair is damaged. And I feel like the older it gets, the longer this hair gets, the more I'm gonna have to cut because the bonds are just gonna get weaker and weaker. So I probably won't do that because honestly, that would take me back to like year two, maybe year three. And I'm really not trying to go that far back. But yeah, I do like to think about my length goals because I feel like that keeps me motivated. That's something to look forward to on this part of my journey. I do wanna share just some pictures that are kind of like my ideal length. Uh, and then also you guys in the comments, let me know how long your locks are and how long you want them to get. So this picture, I love this picture. First of all, I love two strand twists anyway. I think they're just a beautiful, I just love the extra texture. Um, so this is beautiful and actually her locks are much longer than this because you lose some length when you do these twists. Uh, so this length is gorgeous. I could definitely work with that. Uh, this length is also really pretty and hers are a bit thicker than mine. The newer portion of her locks is more like my width or my size, and then as they get older, they're definitely larger. I guess I'm not too far from this length. Eh, that's probably like another year and a half, maybe, just, I don't know, depending on how much length I can actually keep with this color. This picture from Danielle Locks, she has been in the game for a while. Her locks are gorgeous. I love this length for her. This isn't for me, this is a bit too long, because I really prefer my locks to just be like right Maybe like rib cage length. Do people actually say that rib cage length? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's just me, but like the body parts, like saying tailbone and armpit and all that. I just, I don't like that. It sounds weird to me, but probably like rib cage length is probably as long as I would want to go. Also Keisha Charmaine, the lock MVP. Shout out to her because I got so much inspiration from her when I was starting my journey in 2014. Uh, and so her locks are just gorgeous. I love the curls that she does. Again, this is a little bit too long for me, but it's gorgeous for her. This is really pretty. I also really like the thickness of her locks as well. My hair is definitely too fine for this thickness, but yeah, this is a beautiful length. And also life coach Sean, I, who used to be the bronze goddess 01, I love her locks. I think her locks are gorgeous. And even though they are much longer, you know, than I would ideally want, I think I just like her style overall. And so when I see the long locks on her, they feel like this feels like more of something that I could do. I guess the thing that I think about with folks that have really long locks is just how much weight you're putting on your roots. Um, and my, cause again, my hair is very fine. And also I don't like the idea of having to work around my hair, my hair getting stuck on things, things getting in it, cause things already get in it at this length. So I can imagine like if my hair is all the way down here and I'm like, pulling in, it's getting caught on things. So I don't really wanna deal with that. If you have really long locks, let me know what your experience is like, cause I'm very curious. I still, I don't think anything will convince me to grow my hair that long. Cause I just know what I like. 
But yeah, I'm curious to hear about maintenance with super long logs. So that's all for this video, y'all. If you like it, please give me a big thumbs up. Again, please leave your length and your length goal in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.